Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for stopping in today. We have a knife to unbox coming in from Jack Wolf Knives. A huge thank you to Ben and everyone there at Jack Wolf for sending this in for us to take a look at today. If you like knife and EDC content, you're in the right spot. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps push this video out there to more people and let us know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love seeing what you guys have for your EDC. So we have the can and artwork. We have our POG and a couple of stickers here. We won't try too much time because I've spent mi several minutes sometimes trying to get those out, uh, but we'll do that here in a moment. We have our filler tab there which is going to be anodized like a purplish color. And then we have our microfiber hank here. Very, very nice. And then we have our knife. So this is going to be the new release for October for Jack Wolf Knives. And this is going to be called the Bionic Jack. And there you can see the artwork. Looks great as always. Got that old traditional or that traditional look and traditional feel with all the modern necessities, right? Perfectly centered up there. There are going to be, I believe, five different versions of the Bionic Jack. You have four regular releases, and then there's going to be a Knife Center release as well, which you can find, I believe, on Stas's channel. And I think Lefty EDC both have the exclusive from what I've seen. And they have a titanium inlay uh, that's been frosted, I believe. I haven't ever seen anything quite like that or handled anything. And what's cool about this one here, this Bionic, this specific version, is this is a exposed frame lock. And the only locking ones that I have handled thus far have all been a bolster lock. Now, I don't really, either which way, it doesn't matter to me a whole lot. Now, I did bring out a couple of other Jack Wolf knives just so we could have a clearer picture as to what we're really looking at and what the differences are. So, on the bottom, we have the gunslinger here and we have the gun stock handle with the clip point blade, a nice low clip point. And then up here we have the Benny. And this is more of, I call it a sailboat clip point. It just kind of reminds me of, or a boat clip point, I guess I should say. It kind of reminds me of a boat. Uh, but then we have this very, I don't know what we would call this handle, but we have this large swell here at the butt end. And that's to kind of capture this belly here from the clip point. So we have a, a very different handle in both these cases. Now we move to the Bionic, which has a completely different clip point blade. It's, it's kind of a combination of these two, but we have a completely different handle here. I love that this kind of angles and swells down here. That is going to naturally put your hand in a very good position for using this knife. Now, this has a very deep acid wash finish to it on the titanium and the blade. A very, uh, I, would, I would call this probably the most user-friendly finish that is going to be offered in the Bionic Jack. And I only say that just because... The acid wash is going to take wear and tear or this heavy wash. I'm not sure what, what Ben is calling it, but it looks like a heavy acid wash. It's going to take wear and tear very nicely uh, opposed to a satin finish, right? It's a very heavy tumbled washed finish and it looks great. And then we just have some subtle pops of color here, this purple anode pivot body screws and then our full length backspacer which is just a phenomenal touch I know Ben does that for the traditional aesthetic but 
boy, does that make a huge difference in the hand as far as ergonomics. That's one thing, one of the many things I love about Ben and Jack Wolf knives folders. They're just extremely comfortable. And this one is not going to be any different. Now, I did bring out another one because this is, I what did he call this? The mini cyborg, I believe is what this one was called, which is the mini slip joint version of the bionic here. So we have the mini, I don't think I have a full size, uh, I don't have a full size cyborg. So we have the mini here to compare, but the full size cyborg is going to be very similar to what we see here with this new folding bionic. And it feels, I don't know why, but it looks, it almost looks like it's, it is bigger. We have more handle here than the sharpshooter about up against this one here. It even still looks like this is going to be a little bit larger than the Benny. And the Benny, as far as I know, was the largest folder in the Jack Wolf Knives lineup. So I might be wrong, but I, this might be the largest as in the longest. The Benny might still be a little thicker than the Bionic here, but uh, maybe not by much, if anything. No, they're pretty close, actually. The Benny might be a little bit thicker. One of the major differences now between, and I noticed this through the video that Ben does a video on Jack Wolf Knives' YouTube channel uh, for all the drops, and I always watch them just to learn about the design and learn about the pattern. Uh, I'm trying to learn as much as I can on the traditional side of things. But one thing that is, you know, very different is going to be this fuller here. A lot of the time we see a little bit longer full, uh, pull here, uh, what would be a fuller or a long pull. And this one's more of a medium pull here on the Benny. And this one's going to be a very short pull or a short fuller, but it's going to work just like the rest of them. And it, it's so well tuned that it's just going to work for you. Now, it'll take some practice possibly to thumb flick out this exposed frame lock version. It's kind of just a matter of, you know, where to put your fingers uh, or where not to put your fingers. But this thing is going to be one hell of a reverse flicker. And then the other thing I noticed, or what I thought I noticed in the video, was a slightly different front flipper. And you can see that here, where these two are very similar. And this new one is, it's a lot, it's quite a bit different. Now, how does that work? Very well, very good. So even though we have a change in that front flipper, it's going to still work very well. Nice jimping up here, which is going to give you traction to use that front flipper. Detent is tuned just beautifully on these knives. Now, I believe retail is going to be regular retail for the locking folders, which I believe is $350. Uh, like I said, I'll have date and time and websites and all that stuff down in the description of this video. Now, one thing I did want to do was check the length on this. So we're looking at seven and a half down to that tip there. And then we're looking at three inches of cutting edge. And then depending on where you wanna mark it, like three and a quarter to that tip there as far as total edge goes. We'll run this through our normal comparisons here. We got the Elementum up top and the QSP Penguin down here on the bottom. It is going to be quite a bit larger in handle and blade than both of those. And here we have it up against the Para 3 up top and the full size Bug Out. And the Bug Out is fairly close in its length to the Bionic there.
And then here we have the Gunslinger and the Benny again. And they are very, very close. The Gunslinger is going to be a little bit smaller than the Bionic and the Benny, but not by a whole lot. Uh, I would say, you know, I love this traditional look to this knife. As I've said many times, I'm a huge fan of clip point blades. That was the original blade shape, you know, as a kid that I fell in love with was a clip point blade. Is it the most utilitarian blade shape? You know, maybe not to some people, but to others. You know, a clip point has gotten the job done for, you know, many, many years. So clip point blades will work, uh, you know, especially if you know what you're doing. This thing has an extremely thin blade stock as well. And that is going to be quite a bit thinner there than the Benny. And we got S90V, which is a great mixture for this, this blade and the geometry of this blade mixed with the S90V. As I always say, that is a great recipe for lots and lots of slicing and edge retention. It's a great combination. One thing we might as well do is check the weight on this feller. Beautiful action. Beautiful. Three and a quarter. Now that'll vary probably a little bit for the ones that have inlays and that sort of thing. It'll vary, but probably not much. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Let's go ahead and we'll check this edge and see what we are looking at here. Very, very nice. I don't know. I might like this. Oh, man, this is tough. I, I've been, because of the size of the Benny, that's the one that really has, you know, I said if they made a, a Warncliffe version this size, that would probably be my favorite. But I might be a little bit more drawn to this design personally, than I am to the Benny. Um, I, I love the Benny design and handle, but I don't know. There's something about this angled handle that I really, really like. And I like this handle for the swell. They're, they're, they're both going to be very similar in how they cut. Now, this one's a little bit more robust as far as the blade stock thickness not by you know a whole lot but it but the bionic is quite a bit thinner especially as we go out there towards the nose or the tip of the blade so this one you know in theory will probably slice a little better uh but they both are going to cut very well. I think, you know, these can probably still be had uh, in some places and maybe the gunslingers as well. <clears throat> uh, you know, that's kind of a quest you'll have to go on as far as what's available. Ben's been able to make a lot more of these knives. So that then therefore means they get to hang around a little longer, which is a good thing, I think. You know, that gives people a chance to, if they see them later on down the line or whatever, they have a chance to go and get one, not a huge deal, right? So I, I like that, that they're, they're able to kind of hang around a little longer than normal. But this is just a, a, another awesome, awesome design from Ben. Uh, I love the combination. Now, I forget what combination this is it's called the bionic jack because it's a couple of different designs intertwined into one here but I, I i love the acid wash on the entire thing i love the handle here i, I for some reason it feels like this is a little like quite a bit larger than like the benny or the, the uh, gunslinger but it's not a whole lot larger i don't know if it's that thinner blade kind of makes it feel like it's a little bit larger, but the way this is going to handle, you, you're just naturally going to be pointing that blade at whatever you're cutting. It's it's just going to be a great design 
for ergonomics here. And then you can choke up. You have this entire flat here before you get to that very nice sharpening choil. And you'll be able to choke right up behind that edge if you need to. And you can always get up on that tip if you need to as well. And the way this is designed, it's not upswept too much. So you'll still be able to use that tip, uh, no problem. You'll be able to use that nice belly <coughs> for certain tasks. And then you got a nice straight edge here as well. So I love clip points, very versatile blade shape. The bionic jack here, this thing, you know, he Ben's not making just knives over there, just designing knives. He is, this is, these are work, works of art, I should say. Just very well done, very well executed. And like I've said in the past, Ben doesn't leave any stone unturned when it comes to these knives. Materials, going over the builds when they're done, uh, these things are going to be coming to you in, you know, uh, as, as good of shape as any knife can come to a consumer. These are going to be on point. Uh, great materials. The materials of the handles are selected by Ben and sourced by Ben. And you're going to have a multitude of different finishes that you can go with in regards to the Bionic here. If you want in on the Knife Center exclusive, that one you might want to be there very early for. Uh, but the rest of them, I think, you know, you'll have time to kind of pick out the one you want uh, and get it from where you want as well. You'll have to let me know. What do you think of the Bionic Jack here? And in comparison to the Gunslinger and the Benny, what which one, you know, would you go with and why? I have to say, I think I might lean towards the Bionic out of these three. I like this blade shape. I like the handle and I like the finish. You know, if I were to look at the five that are available, this is probably, you know, if you want something you're going to be using, that's probably the one I'd go with right there. If it's more of a gent knife, I saw that yellow-ish looking one with the DLC blade. That would be another one that would be a great option as well. You have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that. Everyone, if you're new here, I release knife and EDC content just like this every single day. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell. That'll notify you anytime I release a new video. I will put up a couple of new videos here and here. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.